You're gonna have an infinite amount of diamonds being made for you while you just simply play Minecraft or build your house or do whatever you want. Check it out, guys. Everyone's working. Look at this. This is so awesome. All right. So, first time, that's exactly how you get yourself a bunch of villagers to buy diamonds for you. <laughs> Subscribe and slap the bell so you can turn on all notifications and never miss another video. Hey, guys. Today's a special day. It's Black Friday, so what that means is all Moose merch is 20% off at www.itsmoosecat.com. Wait, Moose, what are you talking about? That means t-shirts, hoodies, and plushies are all 20% off the entire store. Get yours now before the sale is over. Woo! You know, getting diamonds is obviously a pretty difficult task. You gotta go into a mine shaft. You gotta spend hours looking for diamonds, and then when you actually find it, you only get two or three pieces. But in this brand new Minecraft world, the villagers do everything for you, including farming. Uh, en enchanting or a lot of farming. Yeah, no, no, I'm being serious. A lot of farming. Like, guys, come on. It's just only one thing. Big citizens. Putting down trees. And, of course, other things like mining and so on. So, in this video, guys, villagers are going to be mining diamonds for us and getting infinite amount of resources. How awesome is this? All you got to simply do is find yourself a village just like this and then have a bunch of emeralds for the next step. Now, every single village does come with their own types of people that do random things, like, for example, this person right here, which is currently cutting out trees for us. She is a lumberjack, getting ourselves a bunch of wooden swords and whatever you want, and, of course, emeralds. Woo! Now, all these villagers also talk to themselves. They're super smart, and they do anything they want. They even have their own blacksmith, which upgrades the tools for the miners. Yeah, keep working! Woo, let's go! Draw on McDonald, can you... What is, what is going on here? What was... What, uh, okay. What are you looking at, Mr. Cow? Rolanda, how you doing? Let me introduce you to the Moose Army, guys. So this is Rolanda, guys. And pretty much... Oh, where are you going? Come on, I'm trying to talk to you. So Rolanda over here, she is the blacksmith of the village. She is the one that's upgrading the miners' tools. Now, every single house has their own little sign saying how many people currently live there. So this house has two people living inside. And this place right here, this is the town hall. Now, this is where all the business goes down. Listen up, bro. You know what I want. What? What are you trying to say, man? Let's see. I know exactly what I'm looking for. Don't walk away from me. This right here is a tradesman. Now, if we give him some emeralds, he's going to give us certain type of things. For example, a miner token. We can also get the rancher token, the druid, the enchanter, the guard, blacksmith, farmer, lumberjack, teacher, the chef, the bard, the butcher, cleric. That's about it. So all these different tokens are going to give that person a certain job. So for example, let's say we want to go in and make a miner right now. So we're going to talk to a basic citizen for example right over here we have bram bram where are you going bro bram, what? oh bram's a miner bram is actually a miner he's a farmer grace hold on a second grace i want you to become a miner so now grace is officially going to become a miner and she's going to go down into a cave system now in order for them to mine things we got to do a little bit of work for them we got to make them a cave system now if you already have a diamond pickaxe or have some animals you probably already know how to do that Let's go! So let's build ourselves a quick little cave system. Make sure the villagers are able to actually access it and go down. So just simply build yourself a cave system. Go all the way down to the Y level. And then that way the villagers can do the rest of the work for you. And all you gotta simply do is just make a nice staircase going all the way down. And every now and then place down a torch. So that way no mobs spawn down here. Now nighttime, don't worry too much guys. Because there's gonna be plenty of advanced guards inside of this village. Which is gonna keep the place safe. For example... Oh, snap. Here comes the zombie. What are the guards going to do? Go get him. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, oh, he's getting wrecked. He's, he's low-key getting wrecked. He's got it. Yo, there's two of them. Wow. That was awesome. It was actually like more effective than our golem. And perfect. There we go. It's a pretty basic mine. We didn't go that that far. But at least on this level, they can get us the basic materials. For example, coal and iron. Check this out. This is... This was even to me. There we go. There is our first miner right here. He's doing all the work for us. He's going all the way straight down and getting everything that we need. And then bringing it back and placing it inside of the storage room right here. Which contains all the coal that he mined. And including diamonds. Now let's say we want to focus on them getting more diamonds. We got to go a little bit further down. So we got to go back over to the architect now. And he's going to give us everything we need. So these are the architectures that we can pretty much create for the villagers to stay at. For example, a school, a sheep pen, a mine shaft. So we're going to require a bunch of these mine shaft options. We're also going to require item frames so the villagers know exactly where they're going. You're pretty much a town creator. The pig pen, home to, home for, home six, the cow pen, library, chicken coop, butcher, smithy, guard post, the merchant stall, kitchen, barracks, and that's about it. 
All right, so now that we have a bunch of item frames and of course the mine shaft things, all we gotta simply do is figure out where we want them to build that. So for example, this is gonna be the next location. So all we gotta do is place that on an item frame, then right click it with a mine shaft option, dig a little bit over here, and once the miners come down here, they're gonna start building towards this way. So we're gonna really quickly make a blacksmith room inside the mine shaft to make the miners' lives a little bit easier. All we need is a door, an item frame, and a smithy sign. Boom. Now this is officially a blacksmith room. Now inside here we require an anvil, a crafting table, and of course a furnace. Now if you find a basic villager, all you gotta simply do is right click it with a blacksmith token and it'll become a blacksmith and start working inside of here. Now if you have some more villagers, simply right click them with the mining tokens and they'll become the miners. Whoop, perfect. All right, boys, I need every single one here to mine me a bunch of diamonds. Oh, he's already working, look at him, look at him go. Yeah, there he goes. Look at him. Now we have our own little underground village set up here. Here is our friend. Yo, Adam, how you doing, buddy? Are you mining or are you just slacking on the job? He's just chilling. He's like, all right, guys, listen, I'm just taking a break. We also have Nydia over here that is also mining some more things for us. And she just found herself a cave system. Look at this. Hey, um, Nydia, what, what are you doing? Oh, oh, I'm not sure what she's doing. She, she's breaking the coal. We're almost at Y11. Here we go. And perfect. So we're gonna open this up a little bit, just like this, so that the villagers have plenty of space to walk around and do whatever they want. Perfect, and then let's place down an item frame here, here, and right here. Perfecto. Let's open these up like so, then place down the mine shaft things on top of the item frames, just like this. Now let's get a couple of these miners. Hey, there we go, guys. Now everybody's currently working, and they're gonna start mining everything out. Ooh, what, what do you guys know? You guys are mining in the same location. Can everybody just please take a chill? Okay, there we go. So they're, 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 they're currently breaking something. I'm not sure what they're breaking, but they're definitely breaking something. There they go. Perfect. So I'm going to turn this room over here into a storage room where they can store all the materials I want them to store. All right. And there we go, guys. We created a storage room. Perfect. Now everyone can come over here and store their items. There they go. Look at them. Look at them working. So if we go ahead and right-click the blacksmith, we can choose exactly what he's going to be currently working on. So all I want him doing is simply making everybody diamond pickaxes. I'm going to uncheck everything I don't want him to make. So everybody is still working. They're currently using some wooden pickaxes to mine. But this guy's got five iron ores. He's got one iron ore and so on. And our blacksmith over here, he's currently making everybody diamond pickaxes. Look at him taking all the stuff out of the inventory. Look at him taking everything out the chest. So Albert has already gotten seven pieces of redstone and five iron ores. The blacksmith is currently working. He's making everybody a, I think, I believe a diamond pickaxe. So check this out, guys. The blacksmith has created for us a bunch of different diamond swords. And what was that? What, what was that? Was, that was terrifying. He also made diamond boots. He's made some diamonds over here for some reason. Oh, it's all the diamonds that were currently mined, by the way. And that's about it. And Dirk over here, he's already gotten two diamonds for us. Good job, Dirk. And what about the other miners? What did you get, buddy? Millicent has two diamonds. And Albert has... Oh, Albert missed the diamonds over here. Albert, what are you doing? And Nydia has only got one iron ore. So think about this way. Let's say you have over probably 25 different mine shafts set up for these miners. You're going to have an infinite amount of diamonds being made for you while you just simply play Minecraft or build your house or do whatever you want. Operation, let's make the ultimate mine shaft. We're going to have an unlimited amount of miners working here, including an unlimited amount of mine shafts and different blacksmith options. Blacksmith rooms have been set up. Check this out, guys. The next step is placing down the item frames and then the smithy emblems. And now to set up the storage rooms. Bloop, bloop. The storage rooms have been set up and now we need the storage emblem. All right, so the storage room is done. The blacksmith is complete and now we're gonna create the mine shafts. All right, so the mine shafts are set up. We just gotta place down a bunch of item frames and of course the uh, mine shaft symbols right over here. The emblems, and that's about it. And there we go, Musa. We everything's ready to go. Now let's spawn in the miners and the blacksmith. One, two, three, four, five, six. Everybody's working. Yay! Okay, let's get a bunch of miners. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Everybody get mining, bro. I want everybody doing a bunch of crazy work. Everybody must be on point. All right, they're all ready to work. I, I'm not sure what, why they're all going to the same place, but uh, I think they tried their best to work on, on stuff. Guys, what are you, what are you guys doing? <laughs> Look at these nubs. 
Check it out, guys. Everyone's working. Look at this. This is so awesome. There you go. Keep, keep doing it, guys. Get those diamonds. What are you doing here, bro? All right. So, Moose, I'm that's exactly how you get yourself a bunch of villagers to mine diamonds for you. So, thank you so much for watching. I hope you all did enjoy. Oh, oh everyone's getting ready to work again. <laughs> I'll see you all tomorrow with a brand new video. Always keep it 100. Get yourself a brand new Moose 100 merch at www.itsmoosecup.com. It's currently on a Black Friday sale. We currently have a huge sale going on because we have relaunched all the t-shirts and the hoodies. We got new colors and everything. So go check it out. And I'll see you tomorrow. Always keep it 100, bro. Oh, hey, you got my diamonds? Where you going? Where you going with that coal, huh?